and welcome to today's episode of Erica and Her Mom. We will be taking you back to the land of Israel once again. This month, from our subscription to Lev HaOlam, we just received it. Well, my mom received hers, but I haven't got mine yet, so we decided to open hers up. I'll let you do the honors, oh, like always. You. Make sure you have your spoon, a napkin, a napkin. for schmutz, and your scissors. Your scissors. Now, this week's box was a little bit smaller, but mom was shaking it, and you could hear liquid, liquid, liquid. in it. So, I'm guessing either wine, olive oil, mouthwash, rum, we got rum once. We did. That we was great. Did you try it? It was super good. That was good. I think that was last time, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which was unusual. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for toothpaste because I'm on the I show. love their toothpaste. <laughs> and I have ordered it. Do you remember the name of that or no? No. They have a lemongrass and a mint one. I got both because um, once I got it in a subscription, I just kept ordering it because it was wonderful. I have to say, I got this on Friday during the day before Passover, and I was wondering, is there Passover in this box that I should open this box for Passover tonight? Mm -hmm. And I didn't. So now it says, are you ready to meet the most significant person in human history? So I'm thinking that's Moses. Oh, look w -W at this. WWMD. What would Moses, Moses do? <laughs> All right. So on the back it says birth. And it does say Moshe, Moses. And then in Hebrew, Moshe. Um, birth, the year 2368 from the creation of the world or 1392. Place, the land of Goshen in Egypt. Age three months, placed in a basket on the Nile mm -hmm. until age three, cared for by Batya, Pharaoh's daughter, and nursed by Yochebed, his mother, though she was not known to be so. At age 20, escaped to Midian, where he, oh, I love that they're giving the ages because I never yeah, knew that. that's neat. Escaped to Midian, where he saved the daughters of Jethro and married Zipporah. You know, this is really, really funny because we just watched um, the Ten Commandments with Charlton Heston, mm -hmm. and I just saw that scene where he goes and he he makes the goat herders go away and saves the daughters, but I'm only in the middle. I haven't finished it yet. It's a long movie. Age 20 to 80, shepherded Jephro's flocks in the wilderness, witnessed the revelation of the burning bush. Mm. So at 80, he returned to Egypt to wow. stand with his brother Aaron before Pharaoh. 80. We still got time, Mom. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't even begun. Age 81, led the Israelites in Exodus from Egypt, received the Torah at Mount Sinai. Wow. And we just had Passover, so today we start counting the Omer. Yeah. And so yesterday was... Um, let's see, so yesterday was was Saturday or Passover, and Passover began the night before, which was Friday night. So today we count an Omer, and an Omer is an, a measurement um, that they would measure with, but we count for the next 49 days to Shavuot, and Shavuot in the Christian world is Pentecost, but that was the day that Moses came and received the Ten Commandments or, or the instruction of God. So now we're counting, so in today's day one. If you're watching this today, and I don't know if I'll get it posted today, but okay. Age 82 to 120 led the Israelites in the desert. And then his death came at age 120. The year was 2488 from Amazing. the creation of the world. Wow. And it, uh, 1272 and the place was on Mount Nebo facing Beor Peor so he was able to look on Israel as you remember in the story but not enter into it um, that's we, awesome we went there one time so you have to go to Jordan to do this and you stand in Jordan and you look 
over the Jordan Valley into Israel. And on a clear day, they say you can see Jerusalem, but I couldn't because it wasn't a clear day. Is it exact glasses? I did. Oh. It was a little hazy that day. His exact burial place has never been known because remember, um, when he after he died, God buried him. Oh yeah, he took him and buried him. And he, because he didn't want, well, he didn't want anybody to either worship him or to get him or I don't know. But look That's at this. Weird. You never know. We, oh awesome. my gosh, we have That's this awesome. wonderful book, Moses. Thank you, Lev Halalam. That is oh, my wonderful. just a wealth of information. That's awesome. Oh, this is so great. I'm going to frame that and put it on my desk when I get my box. <laughs> when you get your box. Uh, so, okay, so this would have been really great to have for Passover. I should have opened the box. No, I'm glad you didn't. Now we get to share it with our friends. We do, we do. So there's going to be a lot of information oh, in there. Moses oh. and the Pharaoh's palace. Wow. Oh. That is so incredible. So incredible. Oh, Ooh, look at there's a picture. Show them the picture, Mom. Okay. They always do a great job. That is look at amazing. That. Look at that. So this is Moses in the basket, or Moshe, and this is his sister Miriam watching him as he floats down the Nile River. Um oh, yeah, that's so great. That's awesome. So great. And this must be actually this other little box must be the Exodus. Oh, <gasps> Chocolate coated <laughs> matzo. <laughs> Whoa! It says it on the back. We yeah. didn't just guess. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't open it for before Passover. Now we get to have it. We can open it now, though. We can open it now. Let's see. Oh no! Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, a spoon rest. Yeah. Have you ever found yourself at the at a loss where to place your cooking utensils while you are cooking? Yes, I have. Oh, Numerous times. Every day. Our talented Israeli ceramic artists who work with Lev Halalam understand and have solved your problem. Inspired by Moses, our teacher, who led the Jewish people from. Uh, I'm distracted. <laughs> Led the Jewish people to freedom. Each handmade ceramic spoon rest captures his journey in a basket hidden between the reeds. The blue glaze and the charming image will remind you of baby Moses as you nestle your spoon into the special dish. Baruch Atadunai Elohino Malach Halam Hamotzi Lechamin Haaretz. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who brings forth the bread from the earth. Amen. You may chew. Mmm. <laughs> and there it goes. Mm. That's good chocolate. Mmm. That tastes so good. Oh, and it's not stale. You know, sometimes it's you not get stale it at all. where it has been dipped in chocolate, and then like the, you can tell that the chocolate made it soft. I have a mess going on. Yeah. I have chocolate all over me. Crumbs everywhere, and I dropped my ceramic spoon rest. Hang on, let me get that. You gotta open it now. I hope it's in one piece. That is so good. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Okay. Yeah, that's the best. I love it when it's dipped in chocolate. Oh. And uh -oh. it's still crunchy. Uh -oh. Did you break it, Mom? How'd you drop it? I don't know, it fell off the edge. Well, so much for my spoon rest. I'm gonna glue it back together, though. Oh, it's so beautiful. How did you drop it? I was trying to put it here, and I had chocolate in my lap. Okay, so when you get your spoon rest, don't drop it. They don't bounce, okay? They don't bounce. But I can still look upon it. <laughs> oh, Mom, you can have mine. It's like Moses. He could look upon Israel. I can look upon my spoon rest. Oh, but I can't have it. Oh, but thank you for the offer, but I think you will pretty. need it. Oh. oh! I hope you can see this. I can look at the willows. No, is that what they're doing? The cattails. Cattail. The cattails Not in the river. And yeah. Oh, man, and that's such a bad match. This matches. Um, you can have mine. When I get mine. No. Oh, no. Look at it. I'll glue it together. It. It's a great memory that we shared together. Yeah, eating matzo and breaking stuff. 
<laughs> We're supposed to break the bread, not the... <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. It's perfect for your spoon help. Yeah. Sorry. I just painted my island in my kitchen these exact colors, and it does match perfectly. Aww. Okay, well... <laughs> but I I am gonna glue it back together though. I can't I can't wait. Oh, this. you know what? I'm gonna see if I can order you one. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. Oh, that's it's awful. It's a beautiful thing. Okay. I'm not gonna keep eating. I'm gonna put this back. I'm gonna let you continue to open. I have to grab a drink because I have lots of stuff in my throat. <laughs> I have a diet. This is a quite an interesting <laughs> unboxing. Do you have chocolate all over my face? No. Okay. All right. But I'm going to let her continue, and I'll be right back. Mm. I'm going to pick up this Spring Valley Spice Blend Made in Israel. We got spices, Mom. Oh, goody. What's in it? Um, contains sesame, celery, peanuts, and gluten. Oh, that's pretty oh, good. That's gonna be good. <laughs> I needed some Let gluten. See. Let me see what that. Um, this spice mix contains the traditional flavors of the Middle East, and the main spices were grown in the Valley of the Spring, at the foot of Mount Gilboa. Gilboa, yeah. Ooh. Oh, smell that. Ooh. Turmeric, cloves, oh, why well, I got red stuff all over me? Just... <laughs> no, no, it's like really right on the tip. Okay, I'm gonna go wipe it off. <laughs> I gotta go back. What an interesting okay, day right we're having. Me. You keep opening. You keep opening. <laughs> okay. As turmeric and other awesome spices. Okay, that really smells wonderful. It smells like the very, the very best chili seasoning. Kind of. Um, wow, that is really, oh my gosh. And it is kosher for Passover. So uh, that would be a great seasoning for your lamb. You know oh, what? That Wouldn't would that? be good. Yeah. You know, our, we all, I always make our lamb with rosemary and garlic. So this would be, ooh, you know what? I wonder if it'll be good next year. You know what? When you get yours, don't take the seal off. Yeah, no, and, yours just fell off. Sorry about that. Um, you know what? We'll just order some more lamb and cook it. We don't have to eat we lamb don't, just once a year. We don't. You know, let's have it for Shavuot. Shavuot's coming. Done. Um, we'll done we'll go done. to yeah, we'll Mount awesome. Sinai and we'll have some Fry lamb. Fry it with butter. Put some mm, ooh. ooh, what is it, Mom? Um, this is another large bottle of... Israeli organic olive oil. I love their olive oil. From the Rotim Farm in the Jordan Valley in Israel. Extra, 100% extra. Virgin. Oh, organic cold compress. I always like cold compress. You can, you can wow. waste a lot. Yeah, that's Thank going you. To be great. Love yes. that. Yes, and it's non breakable. So, for people, you like can me. drop it. You can drop it. Make sure you have the lid on really well. All right. Oh, yay. Anti-aging, right up my alley. Hyaluronic acid serum for every type of skin. So we've gotten this brand, the... Um, Aru Goat? Aru yeah. Goat? We've gotten that brand. Oh, yeah, you're going to recognize this. Sun, sun, Look at this. What was it? Snow drops or something? Something like that. We've gotten oh, this um, a few times. And I this, love it. you know... You were just, she was just complaining that I'm looking 40, even though she's not 40. Um, this, I have less than a month. Well, if you use this, it'll never happen. So keep using this. Every night you wash your face, you put this on, hyaluronic acid. I'll do it. It's breakable. I'll let you do the next one. Okay. I need a time out. Ooh, anti-aging organic facial wash. Wild rose. Oh, so you wash your face with that and then you apply oh, this. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that'd be good. Oh, that's a big bottle. Oh, it is. Five point two nine ounces. Wow. That is so. I want to smell. Isn't like that. it wonderful? Whenever you think oh, I really God. need something, 
And then it shows up, and God brings in it your to your box. Door. In your box. I love these boxes. Look how small they are. Oh, that, that's, pretty. that's very nice. It smells like a stock. I think it's it's not a harsh scent. No. None of them are so harsh scents. are usually strong. I like that one. Very nice. All right, last one, Mom. Uh-oh. Here we go again. Hazelnut coated with a variety of chocolates. A variety of chocolates. That's interesting. Yeah, look at it. It's the oh, it is a variety. So we have, let's see, we have white chocolate, we have dark chocolate, we have milk chocolate, and we have a powdered chocolate. And they're all hazelnuts inside, which is very delish. It just says kosher for Passover. Of course. Open them up. Well, I will try. You make that sound easy. Put it over the box. <laughs> yeah. And this is, here, hold up your hand. Yeah, just, I want a white chocolate. I don't like white chocolate. Give me a white chocolate, since I don't like that. You can't. See, I knew. Why do you not like white chocolate? It's just not my favorite. I love white chocolate. So I can be very, like, bleh, if it isn't any good. I'm trying not to influence you. No, that's good. So I, yeah, that's a good one. I love white chocolate. I love zero bars because they're white chocolate. Yeah, that's. I'm the smooth white chocolate. Mmm. So creamy. Mmm. Very nice. Well, Good I job. Hope you have subscribed to Love How Long so that you can taste some of these wonderful things, like the matzo dipped in chocolate. Let's see. Yeah, the matzo dipped in chocolate. The hazelnuts coated in different types of chocolate mm -hmm. and this seasoning spice. I can't wait to use that. So, I want to apologize to you. Oh my goodness. Oh, look this at wonderful it. lady took the time to make this wonderful spoon rest. And you just throw and, it on the floor. And I broke it. I broke it. I just feel so bad that I, that I did that. But anyway. I don't think you meant to. Thank you. It was not my intention. Look at her, she's so happy. And oh. what if that was the very dish that got broken? Anyway, so, Zofia Akavar. That's a pretty name. Isn't it? She looks so friendly, doesn't she? She looks like a, such a this top picture happy, of happy this birthday. lady. Sorry my mom broke your stuff. I'm so sorry. Zofia Akavar is an amazing ceramist living and working in the settlement of Susia. Wow, located near the holy city of Hebron, Susia is an interesting place. There are many ruins and artifacts left in the area, reminding the new pioneers of the ancient Jewish settlement that was once there. The new community is connecting to the history, but also forging ahead into the future. Zofia loves being a part of such a strong community dedicated to, to developing spiritual roots in a place filled with history and meaning. The next one under for the hazelnut, her name is Coco Forest. She makes chocolate. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that's her name, but wouldn't it be funny if it were? Okay, let's see. Oh, it's not. No, no, sorry. It's not. <laughs> I was like, sorry. I, that's her name. Her name is her name, but then Coco Forest. We should get a cat and name it Coco Forest. That would be cute. Isn't that cute? Sorry. Founded by Yara Kalmanovich. Kalmanovich. That's probably really easy if you try it a few times. In 2016, Coco Forest is a unique chocolate factory. <laughs> okay. That employs at-risk youths and, youths and immigrants. Before oh, starting her business, Yara, isn't that your Hebrew name? Yara. Yara? It's your Hebrew name, yeah. isn't it? Yara Malka. Yeah. Um, worked as a lawyer for eight years where she was exposed to the world of at-youth at risk. At-risk youth. <laughs> wow, work, it's not funny. Um, while working as a lawyer, Yara started making chocolate as a hobby, but it became an obsession. Eventually, she decided to take the leap and launch a business that would mix her love of chocolate with the desire to help people living in Jerusalem. And that's how Coco Forest was born. That's amazing. Isn't that incredible?
incredible. Congratulations to her. Wow. I would much rather make that yummy chocolate than being in a clinic. I know. And then helping people. Yeah. On the same. We, we should help people more. I don't feel like we do enough. Anyway, we could go through these and green. This one's been green spice. Sorry. It's not funny. They just um, put her name at the top. I just thought it was everybody's name. It I was looked, like, that's I cute. That's a so cute name. Too. I thought. Oh, let's let's look at the matzah. Yehuda matzah. Where's our box? Um, oh, right here. Yehuda matzah was founded in the mystical city of Safed, which is also Svat. This is... This is where this came from. This came from Svat, from an art gallery. Golden art. I wasn't there when you got it. Maybe yeah, that's, the that's the local place, but I think they have kind of the same name. Anyway, this is a fiddler, and this man is celebrating um, the Jewish people being back in the land of Israel. And this is actually the city of Jerusalem. In Jerusalem, there's a windmill, and this is the wall where the Jews pray, and their little tiny people here pray. And these are all the cities and synagogues. Let's see, there's a synagogue back here and here and there. Anyway, so this uh, is very heavy. Uh, it takes a few men to lift this. A few men in Laurel. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so that's where that came from. When Yehuda Matzah was founded in the mystical city of Safed in the north of Israel by the Ludmere family in 1921, the Orthodox family pride itself on their commitment to Jewish tradition, especially through the strict adherence of dietary laws. Since they started the business, the Ludmere family has been helping people celebrate the holiday of Passover by making matzah, the unleavened bread that Jews eat to commemorate the exodus from Egypt. In 1949, the family moved their operations to the city of Jerusalem. And they did a really... Good job. I like what this says at the bottom, this little picture. Ah, down at the bottom, there's a lady pop doing pottery. But now, Lord, you are our father. We are the clay, and you are the potter. We are all the works of your hands. And that's from Isaiah 64, 8. So true, so true. Yeah. So, great job on the box this month. Love how long, you're amazing. We thank you for all this cool stuff. Yes. Sorry, my mom broke it. Yes. Um, I'll try to be more careful next time. That's okay. But, you know, I'm, <laughs> we have all of this on this table. Imagine if you had a box, too. It really wouldn't fit. But I, I stood it up. I think I'll have to go back and watch the video. I think I stood it up like this and see it just fell over like that. I think. Recreate, recreating it's a, the scene. <laughs> sorry. But anyway, so thank you so much for watching and like and subscribe to our channel. Like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. And thank you so much to those of you who have subscribed to Love Paulam. You're making a difference in Israel. And the fact that you've subscribed makes this worth it for us to do this. Yeah, because you get great stuff. And it's just. And you help these people. Yeah. Who are settling the land of Israel. So thank you for that, and thank you for um, enduring to the end of this. And I hope you have a good counting of the Omar. Yes. Until next month. Bye, everybody. Shabbat shalom.